Welcome back. One more time. Keep yourself one real quickie. So fear is not going to be of service right now. So it's best if you keep away from those things at this current position in time. So like stuff that's going on with banking, flooding, like unless it's in your area, probably try to avoid it because it's going to put you in that fear state for the this particular growth season that's happening. We're out of the reflection, understanding, digging deep season. We're now into flourish season. Now is the time to drop the fear and the panic. Okay. And so those things have come to a fruition yesterday and today is the new day where we're not going to pay attention to that stuff anymore because we are building a garden in our soul for our greatest good. So now's the time of the season to let those things go and keep pushing forward, keep creating the new that you do want to see in the world, right? Rather than festering with people that are spreading fear porn. Now, try to get you know, like um, the banking thing or the, um, you know, even astrology, that's a good point. Astrology does that too, where they're like, oh, we could do this. We need to be vigilant of that and how we treat each other absolutely, freaking lutely but we don't need to be like contributing to it, right? So right now, moving forward, because today is planting season, you're going to plant those seeds of peace, those pieces of yourself that you have fused back together after being sharded for so long, whatever that is, right? Realizing that your whole person that's to be honored, but at the same time, you're now in creation mode with the movements of this season, right? With that energetic pattern that's coming from earth itself and from the cosmos as well. So, when I think of astrology, I don't look at it from a faded perspective as a lot of older thinking, not necessarily older people, but like um, people who think of it more in a religious perspective, right? That very cut and dry, this is how it is, no moving away from it, no adjusting it, no nothing, Again, that's where we find ourselves in any religious situation because they are now conning us out of our own vital life force energy and saying, hey, my rules are, are the rules and those are the rules and those are the rules rules. Now, because I understand how the lunar energy definitely affects me, I also have to take into account that the solar and the other planetary alignments and shiftings are going to have an effect on me as well. Now, if I can understand that, I can best maneuver those energies to my highest good, right? But if I'm setting myself up and being mature about it, I'm not going to have to panic about what everybody else is telling me I'm supposed to be panicking about. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there's a certain point where you come to an evolutionary standpoint where you're not going to be subjected to all the fear porn. You're just not. Because you realize that it's, it's not in their control. Right? Giving control away to another to ensure your success, your happiness, whatever the heck that is. Is ludicrous. You can work with the energies that, that are flowing through the system absolutely, but you're not fated for one thing or another. And you definitely don't need to be letting people tell you that you are. And that's where the things get really hairy because when I'm trying to drop religion as it is, and I'm starting to see it, it it's cracking open and now it's forming like a religion would. And I'm like, oh. Because I, I mean, I've tried reading the goddess thing and it's really freaking annoying and uh, it's just, it's a good arch archetypal type of construct, but like there's still a lot of misogyny there. There's still a lot of smaller thought processes in the operational system that's like, oh God. So... Anybody out there who wants to, you know, 
recreate that wheel during this creative period, that'd be freaking great. If you want me to sit in and be like, you know, oh, that's not such a great idea. I can do that. But I don't have time or energy to recreate the wheel. But somebody needs to freaking recreate the wheel. Yes, go after the historical text. That's totally cool. But there's, there's, there's an undercurrent of the happenings of the times there. And that's, that's where we get really into this uh, constrictive, unevolutionary processes. So uh, I dare say that, yeah, do your homework, do your research, make sure you know the beginning, the actual beginnings of it. And understand how it was used on a planetary construct, not just one little small speck of a location in time and place and whatever else, just because it was written down. Understand that the pyramids exist all over the planet, not just in Egypt. So there's a lot of maneuvering and manipulating happening right now. Learn how to see through the BS. Learn how to take your control and your power back for yourself. Okay. Because that's the only thing at the end of the day that you do have any say over is your own sovereignty. Remembering to keep it your own and not giving it away. The moment you understand that anybody who's asking you to step into some sort of fitted construct, whether it be fate or fear or whatever it is, that is the moment where you back away and you say, whoa, this is not for me. Because that impedes on my personal sovereignty and I am telling you no. So you you do what you can with the tools that you do have. But don't ever put yourself into some pigeonhole. Okay? Understand yourself. Know yourself. Know that, that these movements are coming through and having an effect on you. But it doesn't need to be detrimental. And this is a Scorpio talking for God's sakes. If I'm telling you to calm your shit... And I'm asking you to like look at things objectively instead of taking them one side or the other. Um, yeah. So that being said, there's no need to step into fear. This is a growth pattern. This is a growth movement. We don't need to be clinging on to these old beliefs that have done what? That have done what? Got us exactly where we are right now. Which, on a collective scale, not so hot. Not so hot. We've, we've been worse, but we've also, we could be doing a whole lot better if we got our cookies in a freaking jar and our ducks in a row and our whatever. Okay? So, now is the creation period. You do not step into fear and give your worship to anything. You don't. That's a big freaking no. This is your time to create your bond with who you are and bring that connection to what actually sustains you. There's no worship necessary for anything under any circumstances, for any reason underneath the sun or any other star in the solar system. Okay, and if you feel there is, this probably channel is not going to help you. It's just not. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry because I'm going to keep begging you, pleading with you and demanding that you step into your own personal sovereignty and that you take full credit for exactly who you are and who you want to be and then go get it. Then go take charge of it and forge yourself. That's what I'm going to continue to do. I'm not stopping that for any reason whatsoever. Okay, so now is the time to create. Find something you identify with, whether maybe it's just pictures of flowers, maybe it's pictures of animals, maybe it's pictures of the creative a board. Um, plant those beautiful little seeds in your brain that are going to help you manifest the very essence of your heart, the very rhythms that that provides the universe with. Everything that's there is already supposed to be there so tap into that energy and then uh, let's see it let's see it shine let's go kids it's go time okay happy new moon i love you and until next time keep your flame